This guy's funnier than me. And uh, I'm gonna segue into our next comic, our last comic before the lotto, and then we got a headliner. Please give it up for Jordan Angus, everybody. You got a pretty badass name, uh, Diamond. You ever tell chicks that you're your best friend? I feel like that's a pretty good pickup <laughs> line. I tried that, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you have you to. You know me. You have to, yeah, yeah. I love performing uh, at shows where it's mostly uh, comedians in the audience and, and not so much, you know, randoms. Because it, it feels more like a uh, an orgy where nobody moans. <laughs> <laughs> We're all desperate, you know. Reeks of desperation. <laughs> Someone makes a noise and they're like, oh, fuck yeah, you left. <laughs> so good. Ugh. Are you guys dating? No. Two here? No? No, no. The reason I asked that is you gave him a look that my mother used to give me. My, my mother's house. Uh, she's not black. She's from Trinidad, right? So I recognized that shit. I was like, oh man, what the fuck did he do? <laughs> like, shit. Face, I guess. It, was, it was the stink eye. I was like, oh man, I was like, oh, damn. Jeez. Yeah, be scared. I don't, I don't know what he said, but. Uh, it's a, stank, it's a stanky eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, because you're Nigerian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Deserved God. it. Deserved it. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> that's good shit. All right. So you guys aren't dating. That's, that's, yeah, I can tell now. <laughs> I tried, uh, I tried the dating. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not the same. But we're basically obsolete now, guys. There, there's sex oh, yeah, toys yeah. now, like, yeah. for everything. They have shoe boxes of this shit, okay? They got vibrators with 12 speeds. I come with three, you know? Yes! Like, yes! Fucking slow, fast, and tired. I'm fast, fast. Like, <laughs> God damn. These things have GPS locators now that track the G-spot and stimulate the clitoris at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's true. They have that. Like, fuck. I give up. I, give up. I thought I was pro for finding the clit. I gotta find something else now? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they even have toys now that let, that stimulates like as if you're getting your pussy eaten. It's like the one thing I have. <laughs> that replaced. Yeah, I know you're wondering, like, what the hell did you know about vibrators? I have two mothers. I know more about vibrators than I ever wanted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I tried the dating. Yeah, the dating sucked. I was on Tinder for a while. But the problem is, uh, I attract a certain demographic of women between the ages of 40 and 50. <laughs> As a 30 year old, you're like, oh, that's not bad, but it's for the wrong reasons, okay? They always, the first message I get is, do you know who you look like? Do you know who you look like? Do you know how I look like? Hey, you do, don't you? I feel like I do. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like There's I these two people. Okay, give me a I would either go young Adam Sandler or the Karate Kid. Yeah, you know, I got, I had Adam Sandler once in high school, but it's a Karate Kid. I was getting you look like fucking Daniel yeah. LaRusso, yeah. okay? Yeah. And yeah. it happens all the time. They want me to come over and wax on and wax off and shit. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually the first time I'm telling this one. I actually did hook up with the chick and I didn't know that that's why she had like matched with me. Okay. I wake up, there's a fucking Ralph Macho Daniel LaRusso hockey card with him wearing a New York Islanders jersey on her fucking vanity. And on the wall, she's got Ralph Macho's signature. My ass was out of there in 10 seconds. <laughs> Fuck. All the time it happens, all the time. You know, stand up comics, we, uh, we have a lot of uh, mental health issues. Mm -hmm. Anxiety at, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Everyone's there. Yeah, everybody's there, right? 2023, we're all depressed, right? Yeah, yeah I have depression. Uh, I've been trying to work on a more natural method of working out, going to therapy. Yeah, but thank you, thank you. Yes. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> I used to be on antidepressants. Anybody here been on antidepressants? Yeah, yeah. yeah they're fucking great, right? Yeah, right. Feelings? <laughs> oh. uh, but I misunderstood my doctor when uh, he prescribed them to me. He, uh, he told me to be a grocery list of uh, side effects, and I misunderstood that. I thought that meant I got to like choose what I got. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh, yeah, you might suffer a little bit of drowsiness and tiredness. I'm like, ah, that's okay. <laughs> I like you. You might get a little bit of weight gain. I mean, I look like I could be on a commercial for you know feed this starving children, right? I'll fucking take a little bit of weight gain. <laughs> told me my sex drive might be lowered. Um, I was in my early 20s at this point, so I would have dry humped a pillow if no one was in the room. <laughs> Any pillow humpers in here? I'm looking at you, Matt Cross, the Backstreet Boy welfare version. <laughs> no, no, just me, I'm the only pillow humper? Alright, fine, that's fine. Uh, it was all good, you know, I was getting a lot of shit accomplished because my sex drive was so low, a lot of chores around the house was being done. Uh, in the morning, you might just, you know, some things wake up before you, you know, my shit was dead. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing was waking up with me. Yeah. It was good up until I had to get uh, intimate with my significant other. Yeah. I mean, it still worked, but it was like having a whiskey dick. You know what that is? It, it's like our stuff gets there, but we're not getting there. And I wasn't getting there. I was getting tired. Thank you, Asilo Pram. You know? The game was going to start in like five minutes. So, uh, I faked it. <laughs> oh, yeah, she knew. 
<laughs> and she shot out of bed so fast you would have thought I stuck it in the wrong hole. <laughs> what was that? I, I tried it on that, you know, like, uh, I don't know what you're talking about, like, but you didn't enjoy it? You fucking take it. <laughs> and she started analyzing me like my old hockey coach. It's like a highlight reel going around. <laughs> Start off with conolegus foreplay, and then you deviate a little bit to a little bit of backdoor conolegus. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, normally I can expect 110% of your effort, but uh, tonight your head wasn't in it, literally. <laughs> you know what happens uh, when you don't perform as well as your coach expects you to? You get benched, and another take player takes your spot. Yeah, that happened to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I started dating again. <laughs> My. I no, no second chance. No, yeah, no. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my doctor actually saw that bit on uh, online somewhere, and uh, he popped into the room I was waiting in. Normally, he's always got a smile on his face. Okay, very energetic man. But no, he was stoic. And he goes, uh, "I watched your video online." And he pulls out a letter. I got something for you. I'm like, "Fuck! It's a season to sis, right?" And the anxiety's kicking in. Like, "Oh shit! I'm in trouble today." His me goes, read it. And I'm reading it in fucking full blown panic attack. This guy wrote me a joke, man. <laughs> Does anybody else have people try to write them jokes and shit? Yeah. All the time, right? It's like, yeah, well, thank you. Like, You're usually too racist. <laughs> yeah. right, you can say it. <laughs> me, I gotta watch that line, right? Because, yeah, my family's black and I don't look black. I ain't telling no black jokes. Right? I wish they were black jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. The, the furthest I can go, I won't say that word, but the furthest I used to go to like my family gatherings would be like, oh, why do they call black bears black bears? Is it because of the first black or is it because the dad never hangs around the cups? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I did tell my doctor, I said, listen, all right, the, the joke's funny, fine, I'll read it for you. So if you don't mind, I'm going to read it out loud. I never look at my notes normally, so this is just, you know. Okay, let's do please it. Please laugh. Like, I get free samples from my prescription, so <laughs> let's make it good, okay? Uh, all right. I worked in the Middle East where confidentiality wasn't a big deal. One of my patients tested positive for chlamydia. In the usual procedure, the results were provided to the receptionist in paper forms. My patient with positive test was waiting in the waiting room. The waiting room was full of patients. He was called loudly by the receptionist, Hey, chlamydia man, it's your turn! <laughs> A man was sitting beside the chlamydia man in the waiting room and asked me, the doctor, do you think I might have chlamydia because I was sitting beside that man? I replied, you need to get tested in a week if he slept with you in the waiting room. <laughs> Just so we're clear, uh, the test came back negative, I don't have chlamydia. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to end that there for you guys tonight. We're going to get the, you said we have a headliner tonight? Oh, that one. That, you are the headliner. I'm the headliner. Oh. Yeah, Jeez. I thought you were going for seven minutes. Jeez, yeah. man. I even had semi truck. You guys were laughing, so thank you. <laughs> Everybody on Jordan Angus, have a good night. Woo! Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was fucking hilarious. That was that was really good. There's like fucking two other people in the audience that aren't comics. You know, why try to make them laugh? This is my first night hosting. I've had a great night. Have you guys had a great fucking night? Yeah? Alright. Fuck yeah.